y'all. Welcome back to the channel. Thank y'all for being here today. I appreciate it. Um, so before we begin, if you are new, thank you for being here because it means everything. And if you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. If you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that red button and don't forget to like the video. So y'all today we are having a slow day because the things I planned on doing, um, cause today is Monday the, the 15th and the things I had planned on doing for today, I have to put off because of the weather. Um, so we're going to do an indoor activity. <laughs> so I have the Nesco dehydrator right here in front of you and I've never used this before and I didn't pay attention that it did not have any kind of dials up here where you can adjust the temperature on what you're doing so you're just stuck with the temperature that it gives you to dehydrate and it's at the lowest temp that it will give you. Um, from what I read in the book. Um, also, you gotta make sure you have at least five stacked on this particular one. Some you only have to use four, even if you don't have anything on it, you still have to use it for better airflow. So this is the top. This is what it's looking like. I mean, there's no way to adjust anything on here, y'all. No way. So these are the trays. We got one, two, three, four, five. And you can use the bottom tray as a tray also. So that would be like six. Well, not use it as a tray, but just for drying purposes. But it's like five racks that you have here. Um, it's already been washed in warm, soapy water. Um, you want to do that once you get it. And I didn't do mine until this morning when I was getting ready to use it. So we're going to start off with these bananas. These bananas. And they are going to have to dehydrate for anywhere between six hours to 12 hours and you just want to check it um, by touching it poking it or whatever to see the texture of it and if it's not dry enough then you go on and do it for extra hours yes sir yes sir and it also says that drying times will vary, depends on the altitude you are in, the moisture that's in the air. You definitely don't want to dehydrate outside because of the moisture in the air. It will take you forever and a year to do it. So let's get to cutting these um, bananas. Not that I need a big knife to cut with, but I'm gonna start with these because you see how they look. but they still look good on the inside. And it says when you're drying, um, when you're about to do some fruit, some fruits have to be prepped before you do it. Like if you were doing peaches or, let me slice that again. You want it to be at least 3 8 inches. I don't know what that is. I'm just gonna slice it thin. <laughs> be for real, y'all. like that. So how y'all doing today? I mean, I really thought I was going to have be putting my tomatoes and cucumbers, you know, in some soil outside and be done with but we're going to hold out. Because my husband, yesterday he was like, uh, you know the weather's going to be uh, cold. I was like, no. When I looked at it, he was like, well, it changed. So the high today is 59. But later in the week, I think by the 
weekend. The lows are going to dip down to like 37 and 39. So you don't want to mess up your starts by, you know, giving them that kind of weather because they're not ready for it, even if you're hardening it all. I don't want to take the chance, honestly, because I only have so many starts that I did myself. Um, I do plan to buy some starts, y'all, this year. Everything will not be grown from seed. Um, it does not matter if you're growing from seed or if you're growing from start. What matters is that you are growing and that you are providing food for your family. Now, knowing how to do um, plants from seed is important. But is it mandatory to get your, your um, garden together? No. So, if you feel like, you know, you're new and you feel intimidated by it, buy you some starts. Buy you some starts. So, um, also, when doing these uh, dehydrating, you want to make sure, depending on what your dehydrating if it's something that is going to turn brown really fast like apples and pears and stuff you want to have it in some kind of solution until you can you know get go through it all it's almost like when you're canning um when i was canning my pears i soaked them in uh lemon juice and water and i just pulled from that and would do one at a time like that and it just kept them from turning brown so they'd be nice pretty color in the jar same thing for the dehydrating part. And also, same as canning, you need to label it, date it, um, maybe write down your process. You know, well, this took X amount of time because you really just testing to see how long it's gonna take because you don't know if you're just doing it. So you'll have that for your, your reference. I'm not throwing these peels away. I'm gonna have to find another blender though, because I was going to grind them up. But my husband broke my blender last night. I mean, just crack a lacked it, y'all. And so I think what I'm gonna do though is put the um, banana peels. I haven't heard anybody say this, but I'm just gonna try it and see. I'm gonna put my banana peels in some water and boil them to pull the. Um, nutrients out of the peels and then I'm just going to um, put that water in something and let, just let it sit on the side and I've heard people say about the bananas in the water but not that they boil it I figured boiling it it won't take that long for it to you know get to where it needs to be as if you were just sitting it in water and sitting it outside and the sun heat it up I'm going to heat it up myself. I hope these are not too thick. And the reason you don't want them real thick is because this is going to take a while to dry. I'm going to set these banana pills in here. Y'all thought I was playing. I ain't playing. I'm going to set them in here and I'm going to add water to this. and just let it sit there and heat up. So now let's get the dehydrator because um, all I'm doing is stacking this and plugging it up and turning it on because I don't have any dials to do anything with it. And I'm going to let y'all know if I really like this one or not so you don't go out and buy one and you might not like it. Which it was only $25 so. So I'm going to take this off. This comes off, and I'm just going to set the side over here. There we go. Make sure y'all can see what I'm doing. Okay, so we're going to start with the bottom one and work our way up. And when you're placing them, just make sure that you're not, um, sh make sure you stay on this part. And when you come up close to this part, 
don't go over it because that piece has to go down into the center. So we'll just do it right here first so I can show you. Okay, y'all, I didn't realize that my camera had stopped because my storage was full and it, cause I have it backwards. So this was the first one that I did right here. And then there's the second one. And now I'm working on the third one. So I apologize. I will just go right through it so that you can see what I did. one more tray so I don't know if I'm gonna be using it or not so even if I don't use it with the bananas like if I can get all of these on here I will still add that tray because it's just gonna help with my drying time they now this does come with like the beef jerky packet that I showed you um, will I make beef jerky I probably will because that's one of the reasons why I bought it is because I wanted to be able to make the jerky because my son loves jerky and he's going through our emergency stockpile upstairs with all the bags of jerky that I had bought. We only have one left. Mm -mm, can't wait. I can't wait, y'all. It smells so good in here though. So all we're gonna do now is put this right down the middle. Just like that. I don't have to screw it on. Like it's one that I was reading in the book because it shows you the different brands. And it's one you have to put that in and then turn it. This one's automatically stuck to here. And I already have it plugged up. And so now all I'm going to do is, let me turn it to you, is hit this button. And it's 11.28 now. At 5.30, I will check it. That'll be six hours, which I don't think, I think it's going to take longer than six hours, but I'm going to check it again at six hours and then if they need to continue it says six to twelve hours so that's it for this um video i hope that you enjoyed it um also leave me some comments down below and let's chit chat about it let's see what you're up to and i'll see y'all on the other side of tomorrow remember if you grow some if you sow something you will grow something and yes you can can and dehydrate okay y'all take care so y'all these right here took longer than 12 hours my husband says it took two days but <laughs> i think it took around 13 14 hours and they are the right texture but there are a few that could stand to be dried a little bit more if i was saving these for long-term storage i would dry them completely completely you can hear it how hard it is hopefully you heard that crunch but i don't know i don't think i would recommend this because you don't have the dials you're stuck with whatever temp it is that they give you on here you can't adjust it but the real test is when i'm when i do the apples to see how long it really takes okay. these are the banana chips i have them in a ziploc bag i didn't bother to date them because i'll be munching on these they taste really good though y'all but i think i don't know i'll use that again i'm gonna do my apples i'm just not sure about it but these taste really good and they're really crispy.
think we got enough time to sort out all the fights, yeah. sort out all the lies. Oh, baby, yeah. There was a part of me that knew that, and still I'm caught by surprise. Oh. I thought you'd always be mine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's Minnie Mouse! I've got you! Come here! Come here! I've got you! First time washing this stuff! Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel.